Welcome to Trump Indictment Watch Tuesday at Least Political. I'm the lead watcher, Andy Murray. My next story really gets my goat. I don't understand. I'm honestly saying I don't understand. If anyone out there understands, please leave me a comment or email me an explanation at andi at leastpolitical.com. I know I've said it. I don't get it truly. Why do people willingly accept being lied to? Here we go, the craziness. Roughly one in five Fox News viewers trust the network less, less, after the defamation lawsuit brought by Dominion Voting Systems revealed text messages and emails from top figures at the network expressing doubt about former President Trump's false claims of voter fraud during the 2020 election, according to a new poll. The caveat is these are viewers who know about those email texts and texts, including testimony from under oath depositions. They know. Now, I realize many of you are dubious of polls. After the last two presidential elections, I'm pretty much right there with you. However, I do think they can give us some sort of generalized picture of the field. A survey uh, recently conducted March 10th through 12th, conducted by the Maru Group for Variety Intelligence Platform. Variety is a, a Hollywood trade magazine of record. It is. It's the Hollywood trade magazine of record. So it's a trade magazine, but I digress. <laughs> the poll found that 21% of Fox News viewers over 18 trust Fox News less after the revelations, which included, of course, text messages from prominent Fox News hosts, as well as executives, even from the big man himself, Fox Corp Chairman Rupert Murdoch, Again, the viewers know that Tucker Carlson's producer referred to viewers as really stupid and cousin effort types. I can't stress enough how scornful these guys at Fox are of their own viewers. No respect. No respect. Still, 45% say they continue to trust the network. You know, if I had cartoon nines, they'd be like, Wah! it just it just blows my mind. Uh, Eleven percent say they didn't trust it before and continue not to, while <laughs> while twenty three percent said they have no opinion. What does no opinion mean? These people don't mind having a narrative created for them of a world that's not true. How can this be? Think of all the hatred and vile lies they spew, and people don't have an opinion when they find out it's all lies. Again, I think this is just a generalization, but what the heck? I personally have some conservative relatives. Their response was that it didn't matter because Fox News is not news anyway. It's entertainment. It's news entertainment. It's not real. Or angertainment, <laughs> as this case may be. And my relatives aren't actually allowed to watch Fox News because it causes such discord between the kids and the parents. So they took politics off the table and kicked Fox News out of the house, even though they're still conservative. Dominion Voting Systems has brought a $1.6 billion lawsuit against Fox, arguing that the network defamed the company by boosting Trump's claims that its voting technology was used for election fraud in the 2020 election. Court filings have shown discrepancies between what top Fox figures said privately of the claims and what they pushed on air. They knew it wasn't true 
but they propagated a massive fraud that changed the landscape of our country. For what? For their portfolios. How much is in those portfolios if it's worth dismantling democracy with crazy lies? And I just don't get why people aren't offended. It's so offensive. Variety Intelligence reports a sportswoman for Fox News said viewership and advertising have not been affected by the lawsuit. I mean, the network's audience has appeared strong. It appears strong. Which is crazy. Fox reported earlier this week, per the Nielsen Media Research, that it topped basic cable for the week of March 6 and averaged 2.2 million viewers in the 8 to 11 p.m. primetime hours. Aren't those the same people who are so incensed by the wokeness of everyone who doesn't agree with them? I keep hearing things about civil war. How would the left ever placate the right if they can't actually tell us what's going on? I do feel Fox is pitting one half of America against the other. And here's what's so ironic is that we are more same than we are different. But we actually have this network who is aggressively telling awful lies to make people angry at the situation that's not even true, that's not even actually happening. That's devious, and it's not even normal behavior. It's incredibly destructive to our entire society, and evidently, the Fox News viewers, well, the majority of them, don't care. A part of me once thought, if we could just get the information to the people that are being lied to, they would be so incensed for being taken for a ride that the sun will come out and illuminate everything in front of them, showering them with light and what's real. Ah. I still don't get it. Viewers, when asked whether the lawsuit revelations have impacted their belief in the legitimacy of the 2020 presidential election, 13% of Fox News viewers say their minds were changed and that they now do not believe the 2020 election was stolen. However, 50% said the revelations had no effect and that they still believe the election was stolen. Boggles the mind. All right, my sister claims to believe that OJ is innocent. Personally, I think she claims it just to be somewhat audacious to claim something so farcical. Do these Fox viewers feel that they're in on the joke? Are they like my sister? and just claim they believe that the election was stolen? Or are, or are they, as the brass at Fox News says, really, really stupid cousin effers that don't know any better? How horrible is that? I mean, it's disgusting, and I still don't get it. Um, the survey polled, uh, 1,524 U.S. adults and had a margin of error of plus or minus 3% points. Again, take this poll with a grain of salt, but these numbers are representative of how it's leaning. I mean, okay. If you'd like to help me get it and understand why people don't seem to be bothered by this, click the subscribe, ring the bell, like, Again, we're on the March in March for 10 viewers. <laughs> Help us get there. See ya.